Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I'm back with another video. But where am I? Why am I behind the camera instead of in front today? Let me explain guys. Um, well, last week, after having avoided it for nearly three years, I contracted the crud, the C19er, guys. Yes, and it hit me like a ton of bricks, I cannot lie. And that's with being uh, both vaccinated and boosted and working from home. <laughs> a lot of my friends and my brother joke, they're like, you don't even go anywhere. How did this happen? But you know what? Inevitably, I believe it's going to happen to us all. So do your best out there to protect yourselves. Um, as best you can, guys, because uh, whew, it is nasty, nasty. Um, and, and in any case, as a result, um, I'll just be truthful. Uh, although I am better and I am back working this week, my energy levels just aren't there. Like the thought of just putting on some makeup just seems like a little too much effort for me right now, guys. And uh, actually the dark circles under my eyes i'm not so sure they could be helped with makeup at the moment either so although i like i said i'm much much better my uh, energy levels are still not quite there but i still wanted to get on camera and share with you guys uh, a dollar tree haul uh, these are items that i purchased um before i got sick and some of them include some valentine's items that i will be giving belatedly uh because due to illness <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and just jump into it, guys? Uh, I hope you'll forgive the format. I will definitely be back on camera soon. Promise, promise. Uh, so anyway, to begin with, um, I've already hauled this, you guys. It's uh, one of these uh, tins, the heart-shaped tins from Dollar Tree. It says, to know you is to love you. And I had initially purchased that um, because I was going to create low-sugar peppermint bark uh, for my friend down in Florida and send it on down to her, which I do is still intend to make that peppermint bark, but I have a different container in mind, which I will show you guys momentarily. I am instead going to use that container and wrap up a total of 10 or however many of these uh, snack size Reese's cups I can fit in said uh, tin and include a $50 Dick's Sporting Goods gift card for Jacob for Valentine's Day. And that gift card, by the way, comes courtesy of my Fetch Rewards points. You guys, if you're not doing Fetch Rewards and you like to shop, I really would strongly, strongly suggest that you can get rewarded very easily with gift cards for doing what you do anyway, which is shop. And you take pictures of your receipts and scan them through the app, and it couldn't be easier to do. I'm going to uh, put my referral code in the description box below if anyone's interested. This is not a hard sell, you guys. Uh, we will mutually benefit if you are a first-time user of the app. And um, I think you'll be addicted before long. I know I am. I love it. Anyhow, that's my little plug for Fetch. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get back to this, guys. Um, also, uh, for Valentine's Day, I picked up two bags of these uh, Reese's Mini Cups um, because I plan to fill one of the gorgeous pink heart-shaped candy jars. There we are. Uh, for Hugo's mom, and uh, he informed me that Reese's um, is his mom's favorite candy. So that's my intended use uh, for those mini cups. And then um, also, so this is um, this example is of uh, the sugar-free candies that I intend to give. I have one for my mom and one for my aunt ready to go with the uh, ribbon that I also bought from Dollar Tree. So pretty. Um, and then I'm going to place these jars inside uh, one of these little gift bags. So this uh, two pack from Voila comes with these two patterns. This one's like a green background uh, with beautiful flowers. There's the side. And then this bag comes with, a, it's got a little bit of foil. So I, only the one bag comes with a little bit of foil here with these flowers. I think these are poppies. I think it's very pretty. And here is what the side of that one looks like. So I'm going to pop uh, one of those heart-shaped jars in each of those bags, one for my mom and one for my aunt. And then, you guys, I picked this up because I just couldn't resist, and that is one of these mini three-tiered little planters that come in a three-pack, which I think this is such a great value, you guys. 
Um, you can use it for uh, you can use it for live plants. You can use it for little faux succulents that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree. Uh, you can use them for a myriad of purposes. You could use them to keep um, pencils and pens organized in if you really wanted to, or art supplies, uh, makeup brushes, etc. Here, I'll demonstrate. I've got a couple pencils nearby here in the kitchen. And we can throw a couple pens in here. And you guys get the idea, right? Multitude of uses. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use these yet. I may actually use them for faux succulents that um, I did purchase from DT um, that I have in my craft stash. I may just uh, go ahead and place them in here and put them out on my patio or something. I'm not quite sure yet, but I picked those up. So I'm going to clap those and kind of scooch them over here to create space. And then uh, let's see. This is a good value, so I picked up this two pound bag of Epsom salt. Just plain, no fragrance, no chamomile, no lavender, just plain two pounds of Epsom salt. I love this stuff, you guys. Um, I had a weird thing going on with my feet, and that's kind of how I knew, believe it or not, that I was starting to... Uh, come down with the with the you know what with the crud um and i soaked my feet in epsom salt and i have to tell you it really really helped um bring down my toes were a bit swollen and they were my joints hurt so bad man this epsom salt was a lifesaver for me so i was thrilled to find usually you find just a one pound bag this one is a big two pounder look at that pow so i thought that was a really great value and uh, then I picked up uh, for the laundry room. Um, I was running low on my LA's Totally Awesome Oxygen Cleaner. This is like the OxyClean, uh, the LA's Totally Awesome version. I love this stuff. I use this as an additive um, in every load of my laundry. I think it helps keep the laundry nice and fresh and um, helps with, I think, stain removal. And I just think it's a very good um, additive to your laundry and no fragrance, which I am all about for sure. So I got that. Um, and I bought actually two packages of that, but I won't show you both. Not necessary, I guess. And then um, also, I found the hashtag bandages in this cute little container with the little um, with the little clip on it. I love this, you guys. And of course, it's got the, the different hashtags, uh, OOTD for outfit of the day, hashtag selfie, hashtag love and hashtag tbt for throwback tuesday or thursday thursday i think it's throwback thursday i guess i don't know in any case i'm not that hip i actually bought this um to put in my purse because i plan to take these to los angeles when i go on my girls trip with the bestie um we're gonna be doing a lot of walking uh you know i like to be prepared for things like um you know painful blisters and the like um and i just Think it's helpful to have and it comes in such a nice little convenient carrying case i think that's perfect for travel and speaking of bestie i also did a buy one get one for me on this chapstick total hydration infused with essential oils uh, made with the essence of rosemary and peppermint and it says find the peacefulness and it actually says real small right here can you see guys it actually says peace on the side so you know i was sold <laughs> so I got one for me and one for Bestie, and I will be bringing those out to L.A. Uh, I, You know, um, the last time she and I did a little girls trip together, we went to Vegas, uh, also for music, um, and we had a wonderful time. It was awesome. And I, of course, came with a little Dollar Tree makeup case full of, like, fun little Dollar Tree finds. So uh, I intend to do the same when we meet up in Los Angeles in April. So super, super excited, guys. Um, I also picked up, now I may or may not have time to get my nails done uh, but right before the trip, so I found these Kiss uh, in the short length salon color nails ready to wear in this beautiful matte red. I don't know if you guys can see that it's actually a matte. It's hard to tell because of the glare of the package, but these are so pretty in such a wearable length for me. I love it. I was very excited to find these. So I picked these up um, and these are ready to wear 
So does it come with the glue? Oh no, you have to have glue. Okay, I gotcha. Well, I do happen to have glue here at home, so no problem there um, if I do decide to use these um, the night before. If I run out of time and just don't have time to go get my nails done, boom, I'll be ready to go. Cute, very cute. I like that. And then, um, okay, so I also found, so instead of using this uh, heart-shaped tin now for my friend's candy that I am going to send to her, I am going to use, you guys, this is so cool. Now, you know, I live in Chicago and I found this, look at this container, officially licensed Major League Baseball Chicago Cubs container. Look, it's got the logo on the side. Look how cool this is. And I even wrote down the measurements. This is 10 inches by six inches. It's almost like a little shoe box, but I mean, actually my, neither of us have feet small enough to have shoes. Uh, that would fit in this kind of box, but uh, I could certainly fill it up with uh, homemade peppermint bark for my friend and send it on down to her. Isn't this a great container? She's a total Cubs fan and uh, a former Chicagoan, and I know that she will really get a kick out of this. I thought this was a great deal. I cannot get over the cool licensed um, sports stuff that I'm finding at the Dollar Tree lately. I also saw they had uh, condiment bottles um, in also in the Chicago Cubs, they also had popcorn buckets, um, both like a big one, a big bowl that you can, you know, share. And then also the individual uh, popcorn cups. And you can make a really cute gift set out of that. It's incredible. Along with, you guys, this is super cool. And I got one of these for Hugo also um, because I figured he could use these for lunch, this for lunches. It's this microwavable big soup bowl with the locking lid here i'm gonna pop it off you guys look at that look how deep that thing is you guys holy moly i'm gonna put my fist in there so you can see how big this thing is this is gonna hold a lot of soup this can hold pasta um ramen noodles um leftover whatever you want to put in here and th to bring to work and to microwave you can you clip the the top on there and then it's got this the vent thing and everything. You guys, this is super awesome and definitely does not look like a Dollar Tree item if you ask me. Let's go Cubs, how cool is that? So I'm gonna include one of these for my friend also. Um, I'm gonna mail that ahead because it's kind of gonna be too big to, I think, put in our luggage um, when we go to Los Angeles. I tend to carry my luggage on um, and I know my friend is planning to do the same. So I'll ship these two items ahead of time. Um, and then instead just bring like, you know, a kind of collection of cool things like that chapstick total hydration, uh, to share with her when I, when we do get there as like kind of a welcome gift, kick off the weekend kind of thing. Okay, you guys, uh, the final part of my haul includes some of the, uh, bumblebee related items that I am finding at the DT that I am adding to a small curated collection in my closet for no particular reason yet. Um, and so then I found these, while not exactly bumblebee, I love these nails and I just thought they were very, uh, with the with the daisies on it, I thought they were just, they still kind of said bumblebee. They said summer to me. They said um, carefree days uh, where you see lazy bumblebees um, buzzing along flower to flower. So I don't know. They still kind of red bee to me, even though these are brown and not black. But I just love these beautiful nails by Pretty Woman. You get 24 nails and the glue in this beautiful set. Wow. Great, great deal on those. And um, I also picked up by Juncture. These are in sizes 5 to 9. These are the no-show socks in, see, so you get two pair. And this one says Be Kind. And then the other pair is just like a solid blue with gray. So I thought that was very cute. And then I found um, this, uh, I've seen other people haul this. It's a wreath term and it says scatter kindness, of course, with our friend, the bumblebee on it. And on the back, you get like a little bit of cord that you can thread through this hole and um, hang from the middle of a wreath. You can dangle that. It also reminds me almost of like a coaster material. I wonder if you could kind of use it in that way. Um, 
But in any case, yes, that is a wreath charm. And then the last item I purchased was from the school supply area, this um, little tin box that says B positive. And uh, this is, uh, it's a Greenbrier product. And this was in with the school supplies. You can use this for pencils. You can use this for makeup, makeup brushes, really anything you, anything small like this that you would like to contain, feel free to contain it in this really cute B positive uh, tin box. I think it's really, really cute. Okay, guys, and the last thing I want to show you real quick is, um, if you saw my last video, I bought a pair of, um, now you know how the Dollar Tree just goes co goes and calls it decor, but there were the yellow um, Easter egg ornament type things. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. They were kind of like, I, they were just ornaments, I guess. And I saw the potential for bumblebees. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick that... I did transform them into bumblebees. Here, let me show you up close on this one. So if you remember, I bought the um, yellow, uh, pair of yellow eggs, and now I've uh, painted the stripes in it with black chalk paint. This is all materials from the Dollar Tree, you guys. And then I took these wood hearts from the Valentine's area and glued them on the reverse to create wings and the little stinger, which if you look at the front, there it is, there's the stinger. And the only thing that bugged me was there was little holes here on each of the heart ornaments. Um, and I didn't have any wood filler or anything like that, but I did have tiny little rhinestone bling from this um, bling wrap ribbon that I have. Um, just left over from a different project and I just cut out a tiny little individual stone and glued them right over the little holes just to cover that up and give a little bit of bling. Uh, only thing I'm missing now is uh, some black ribbon uh, as a hanger and I'd still like to find a way to make some antennas. Um, I didn't want to use pipe cleaners because I thought that might look a little, I don't know, I don't know what to say about that. I just wanted, I, I would prefer wire or something like that. I think that's uh, what I'm, what I'll be looking for to create little antennas on these little bumblebees that I created out of the Easter egg decor from the Easter section. So I just wanted to share that. Very simply done with just some paint and glue and your imagination. <laughs> uh, anyhow, guys, that concludes today's haul. I appreciate you all so much. Uh, again, I'll be back on camera again soon. I just wasn't quite feeling up to that today, but I did want to do a video anyway. So thank you so much for watching. Everybody, please, please take care of yourselves. Stay well, and I bid you peace.